Thank you, um, and welcome everybody to this uh, webinar. Uh, as she mentioned, my name is Steve Lopes. I am the product manager responsible for globe valves and for retrofit solutions at Belimo. Um, <clears throat> very excited today to be able to talk about the brand new Belimo G2 and G3 MPT threaded globe valves. Um, so let's dive right in. Um, if you're familiar with our uh, current, or at this point, our old globe valve offering, uh, you'll know that these threaded globes uh, were made by Schneider Electric. Um, so we have decided to move away from Schneider, and we are now partnering with this new company from Germany named Ari Armaturin. Um, and we have decided to partner with them because of our outstanding business relationship that we currently have. Um, they already designed and manufacture for us the European version of the uh, threaded globe valves. So as I mentioned, they're a German company. They've been in the industry for over 60 years. They have very uh, extensive <clears throat> knowledge when it comes to uh, bronze casting and specifically for globe valves. Um, they manufacture some of their own line of globes for other applications, some for some safety applications, um, but for control and for isolation as well. And so uh, we are extremely confident in moving forward with this, with this company here. Um, rather than just being a supplier, we like to think more that it is a partnership. So with Ari and our internal engineering, we were able to design and develop a new globe valve that is specific for Belimo. Um, so it'll have a, the Belimo logo on it. Um, we will be the only company in the world that is selling this very specific globe valve just for us. Um, as I mentioned, Ari is a company from Germany. However, they have a United States facility, and that's down in uh, Houston, Texas. So uh, I went down and visited with uh, with Ari in Texas a couple weeks ago. Um, I met with everyone there. Um, it's a relatively brand new facility, so um, the warehouse is neat and organized. Um, you can see here some shelves where they will be keeping stock uh, of our globes. <clears throat> they also have a water lab. Um, they are able to do some benchtop testing, uh, some final testing. They also have some uh, engineering on staff. They have a steam rig, which is very, very cool. Um, so they can they can test with steam. Um, they've also agreed to provide us with support in the um, in the case of a quality issue or if if we need them to accompany us uh, to a job site to troubleshoot. Um, so. As I said, they're, they're really more than just a supplier. They're, um, it's going to be a, a great partnership moving forward. So just to describe some of the physical features and the differences between the old globe valves and the new globe valves. So here you see one of our old two ways on the left and one of our new two ways on the right. So some of the biggest uh, physical differences is that the old glow valve had a threaded stem design. The new glow valve has a notched stem design. The old globe uh, had an external packing nut. You can see it there in the photo, that brass um, external packing. The new glow valve has no visible packing. So <clears throat> when I say packing, these are all of the materials that are installed on the, um, on the top of a glow valve that basically help to keep the water in. Um, it's basically all the materials that prevents external leakage. Um, so you can see that uh, in our new globe valve, all of the packing is internal, uh, and I'll have some more detail on that on some later slides. The old globe valve has a threaded bonnet design. You can see about three or four turns of threads um, on the bonnet there on the left. On the right, the bonnet is now a tapered design. So there's now no visible threads at all from the bonnet all the way up to the stem. So completely different uh, interface design there. Another big thing here is that the old glow valves had this brass ring identifier. It was basically a thin piece of brass that got wrapped around the valve body. And on this ring was the part number 
It has the date of manufacture. Um, it has a few other key pieces of information there. We are moving away from this design and we are going with a metal nameplate that gets riveted right to the face of the valve body. Um, and I'll go into a little bit more detail as to the information that's included on this metal nameplate. So as I did previously for, for two ways, here you can see uh, an old three-way and a new three-way. So basically all of the differences that I summarized before from the threaded stem, the external packing, the threaded bonnet, all of those differences um, can also be seen on the three ways. The, uh, another big difference here for the three ways is that on the B port, the old globe valve has a brass plug and the new globe valve has a stainless steel plug. So just from looking at it, you can easily identify um, the difference between one of the old globe valves and one of our brand new uh, glow valves. As I mentioned before, one of the one of the biggest differences is that now we have this new nameplate. Uh, it's a small metal plate. It gets riveted right onto the valve body, and on it you can see the um, information that's listed. We have the Belimo logo. Oh, of course, it's a Belimo globe valve now. It has the part number. It has the valve size and the temperature and pressure ratings. It has the date of manufacture. It has the rated CV, which is the max rated flow rate of that particular valve, as well as it has the CRN number. Um, for our Canadian customers, the CRN or the Canadian uh, registration number is a number that control valves need to need to have uh, in order to be installed in order to be installed uh, in Canada. And so. We have these certifications and we decided to print the CRN number right on the nameplate of the valve, um, which is really nice. This is something, um, I think it's just a little extra value added for our Canadian customers there. So when replacing one of our old glow valves uh, with some of our new glow valves, uh, it is important to remember that the face-to-face -face dimensions are not the same. Um, and so basically what that means is um, the distance between pipe to pipe when you remove a valve and install a new one, it's no longer, it's, it's, it's not going to be a one-to-one -one comparison. So you, you can see here that in the larger sizes, from one and a quarter up to two inch, uh, the face-to-face -face dimensions are roughly the same, so not too big of a cause of concern there. Um, but it's really in the smaller sizes, from half inch up to one inch, you can see that the face-to-face -face dimension is either bigger or smaller by about a quarter of an inch. Um, so it's not something that's uh, drastically different. It's just something that needs to be kept in mind when making these uh, changes that um, the customer is going to have to make up the difference in the face-to-face -face dimensions either with unions or uh, additional piping, something along those lines. This is just important information that everyone needs to know. Um, I wouldn't say that, uh, that, that this is something, you know, that's a large cause of concern. A lot of times we sell our glow valves to customers that already have existing glow valves. Uh, let's say that they have a Siemens or a Honeywell or a JCI. There's no standardized face-to-face -face dimension and so whenever a customer change, changes valves, they're, they're typically going to see a difference in face-to-face -face dimensions. So. This information here is something to keep in mind when replacing from the old to the new. Now let's go on to uh, the new part numbers. So I've shown you a little bit about what the valves look like, what the differences are. Now we can see what the differences are in the new part numbers. So I have all of the two-way bronze trim versions here on the left. We have our two-way stainless steel trim versions in the center and the three-way bronze trim versions on the right. And the way it's set up is the old part number is in the column to the left, and the part number that will be replacing it is immediately to the right of that part number. Uh, one, one major difference here to keep in mind uh, with our new three-way valves is that there is now one valve body that is used for both mixing or for diverting applications. So previously with our old globe design, we had two separate part numbers. So for example, we had a G3325 and a G325D. And 
The difference is that one is for a mixing application and the other valve is for a diverting application. The reason why we have to have two separate part numbers is because the internal components of that valve are actually different and so you, you can't use one valve for the other application. Now we will just have one three-way valve, valve body that gets piped differently depending on the application, depending on what you need it for. And so we've, we've eliminated the need for a separate part number. Um, and I have some further information uh, on one of the next slides that goes a little bit more into detail about how this is, how this is possible. So um, just to get into a little bit more detail as well about the, about the new part numbering scheme, why we came up with, with what we did. So you'll see that um, G, G obviously stands for globe valve. The next um, character is gonna either be a two or a three. That will tell you if it's a two-way valve or a three-way valve. Um, the next two characters here are now going to tell you the exact size of the valve based on its DN number, uh, its DN size rather. So for example, a G215, 15 stands for DN15, that's a half inch valve. If you have G232, uh, that stands for DN32, uh, and that's a one and a quarter inch valve. So now these, these, these numbers here will tell you the exact size um, of the valve body. Next, we will have either an S or a B, and uh, this corresponds to the, tr to the material of the trim, S for stainless steel, and B for, for bronze. And lastly, we have a dash and a letter. Um, and this letter now corresponds to the max flow rate of the, of the valve. Um, in the beginning of the globe section for the 2018 PGPL, uh, you'll see this chart here that basically summarizes um, everything that I just mentioned here on the part number. And on the far right now, you see this uh, table that has the dash and the letter, and it tells you what the CV uh, or the flow rate is for that uh, particular character. So as I mentioned previously, our three-way valves now, uh, it's just one valve body used for both mixing or for diverting applications. Um, and so how we are able to achieve this is that the valve will be piped differently if it's used for a mixing application or if it's used for a diverting application. So on the bottom left here, you see piping diagrams. The one on the top shows you how, how the valve gets piped for mixing, and the diagram on the bottom shows you how the valve will get piped for diverting. Um, <clears throat> if you're familiar with how our CCV valve gets piped, this new glow valve gets piped in the exact same manner. The A port will always get piped to the coil. On the right here, um, you see some simple flow diagrams of how the water flows through each valve depending on the application. Um, so something a little bit different than what we're used to. All of this information can be found on the PGPL, uh, can be found on the instruction sheets, it can be found on data sheets. Um, so all the information is out there to help you uh, when piping these new valves. So next we get into some of the specifications. Uh, most of the specifications, temperature, pressure-wise, um, are similar to our current glow valves with um, a couple key differences here. Um, you see down on the bottom left here, now we have, uh, we can offer a rangeability value of 100 to 1, and that's from our half inch all the way up to our 2 inch valve. And our internal leakage rating is now ANSI class 6. Um, so if you're not familiar with leakage class ratings, uh, basically, a control valve can be rated anywhere from class one up to class six, and class six being uh, the best leakage class that a valve can possibly be rated. Um, it's as close to 0% leakage as you can possibly get uh, without quite saying 0% leakage. Uh, one of the new and, and um, <clears throat> yeah, one of the uh, new differences here is that for our G2S, that's our stainless steel G2 globe valve, um, we are now able to achieve up to 50 PSI maximum delta, delta pressure uh, for steam applications only. Um, so previously we were only able to go up to 35 PSI, but we're very excited to be able to introduce this new globe and um, up to a maximum of 50 PSI delta P for steam applications. So let's um, dig a little bit deeper here into the valve. 
And um, let's take a look at some of the feature benefits. So here um, you see a cutaway of, of one of our two-way valves just to show you what the inside of the valve looks like. Um, so first, you'll note that we have a notched stem and tapered bonnet design. Uh, the reason why we, we wanted to do this is because it basically eliminates the, the need for stem adapters and couplers. So um, this little image of the actuator with the stem adapter and the coupler there, that would basically, that would basically be all the parts that are needed um, to accommodate our old globe valve. Uh, now you're able to eliminate these two parts here. Um, and now it's just a uh, simpler actuator assembly onto our new globes. Uh, it's fewer parts that we have to stock. Um, it's fewer parts that have to be assembled when the parts get ordered. So it should be uh, quicker turnaround times for when a customer places an order. Next, uh, you'll see that internally now we have dual EPDM O-rings and gaskets. Um, this is to ensure that the valve will not leak water out of the valve throughout the life of the uh, entire product. And there are repack kits available. Uh, sometimes in a specification, um, it'll specify that a valve must be repackable. Um, and we will have repack kits available for these new globe valves. Um, next, you'll see that we have an internally threaded bonnet and a thrust washer. And this basically eliminates the need for the external packing nut that you see in our old globe valve. So both of these features are really there just to ensure that the valve will never leak throughout the entire life of the valve. Um, next, you, you can see here we have a bronze casted body. These valve bodies will all be cast in Germany and they'll be shipped to Houston, Texas for final assembly and test. Um, so we know that we're getting a very high quality cast from uh, Germany. And this is uh, going to allow us to maintain the 250 PSI body pressure rating. And lastly here, you can see a sort of a zoomed in image of the new plug for the new globe valve. Um, we are now utilizing a soft seat design. So basically there is an EPDM insert that uh, lines the inside of all of our plugs. And that is basically to ensure the ANSI class six internal leakage rating. So, a uh, higher internal leakage class rating from our old globes, and uh, this is really our, our secret, um, you know, into being able to achieve this ANSI class 6 leakage, this higher leakage class rating. So now let's get into some um, the new combinations of actuators with the globe valve. So we really tried to streamline our assemblies as best as we could. So now you'll see that all of our two-way valves are offered with LV actuators. Um, those, are, those are our uh, new-gen linear actuators. And you can see that all three ways are now offered with SV actuators. So a little bit of a simpler uh, actuator offering there, um, hopefully not as, not as complicated as, as our existing offering. Um, because these valves have different interface designs, we needed to develop uh, brand new linkages. And so um, first we had to develop the BGVO, that stands for Belimo Globe Valve Linkage. Um, and as you can see in the image, there's no, there's no couplers, there's no stem adapter. Uh, it's a much simpler linkage. It's basically just those metal clamp jaws that will attach around the uh, bonnet now. Uh, they get tightened in with a couple of socket head caps. Um, so much simpler linkage, the BGVL, um, these are for the for the new Belimo globes. Next, um, we, we came up with the UGLK 1150S. This is the new rack and pinion style linkage, and this is uh, for use with an LF actuator. And lastly, we had to come up with the UGLK 1000S. Um, and this is, again, it's another rack and, rack and pinion style linkage, and this is for use with the NF and the AF actuators. Um, so, Three brand new linkages, um, you know, one for the linear actuator offering and two UGLK rack and pinion style uh, kits. <clears throat> so as far as uh, availability and some of the marketing tools that we have um, to help customers, you know, make their selections with the new globes, um, as of Monday, um, these new globe valves are live. They're live everywhere, so you can find them on the web shop. Uh, they're in the 2018 PGPL. 
they were displayed at uh, ASHRAE. Customers came up to the booth and they were able to get a look at our new glow valves and they seemed uh, very excited about it. Uh, there was a direct mailer that uh, went out to announce that uh, starting April 1st, we would have this brand new Belimo globe. We have an advertisement in the PGPL that's uh, in the back of the globe section, and it really highlights our new uh, ANSI Class 6 leakage rating. Um, these new globes can be found in Select Pro. They can be found on the web shop. Um, if you go to the, to the web shop, you will find all the new data sheets for all the new globes. Those are available there. Um, we just had a brochure uh, that recently went live that kind of summarizes our entire globe valve offering. So uh, we're hitting the ground running with these brand new globes and uh, we're very excited about it. Um, so that's all I have in terms of slides. Um, thank you for your time and um, I guess uh, I'll be available to answer any questions. Thank you so much, Steve. So anyone who just thank you or joined us partway through. This webinar was recorded and will be posted to our YouTube channel so that you can view the presentation in its entirety. If you have any questions, please open up the chat box or question box, type in your question, and I will read them aloud and Steve will answer them as best as possible. Steve, are you ready for your first question? Sure. Okay. Um, can I still buy the old glow valves right now if I needed to? Um, yes, so the plan is to maintain inventory levels um, of the old glow valves until somewhere around at least the end of this year. Um, we are really trying to push the new Belimo globes as much as possible, um, but the old globes will still be uh, available if absolutely necessary. Okay. Well, I've got a bunch of questions coming through. And next question, will the SGVL retrofit go away? Uh, no, so the SGVL retrofit is not going away. Um, that kit <clears throat> is still suitable for the for the Schneider globe. Uh, that's still a globe valve that Schneider will continue to sell. Um, so that retrofit kit is not going away. Um, follow up question to the SGVL linkage kit. Can you use the SGVL linkage kit on the new globe valve? Uh, no, and that's a very good question. Um, the SGVL kit is specific to that Schneider globe valve and the interface is different from our new Belimo globe and so it won't fit. Um, if you need a replacement actuator, uh, that's when you will need to buy the BGVL kit so that the actuator can easily mount to the new Belimo globe. So um, in short, no, the SGVL will not fit the new Belimo globes. Okay, next question. Are the packing kits or cartridges in the price sheet? Um, the packing kits are available in a document uh, on the website. Um, there is a document that you can download that basically summarizes all of the uh, repack and rebuild kits, uh, even for our flanged versions. That new part number appears um, on, that, on that document there. Okay, perfect. Um, can I buy the BGVL without the valve body? Uh, yes, so you should be able to purchase the BGVL uh, plus whichever actuator you would need. Okay. Last call for questions. And of course, after the fact, if something should come up, you can email myself and I will get it to uh, Steve so he can answer your questions. Once again, I want to thank you so much for joining us today for this webinar. Um, and uh, we look forward to having you participate in future webinars. Our next webinar is on the 18th of April um, at same time, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, it will be on the Belimo Zone Type Pressure Independent Zone Valve, efficient in every way. Thank you so much, Steve, for that excellent job, and thank you, everyone, once again, for attending today's webinar. Have a great day. Thank you.